Sisters is a documentary about a popular indie game by the name of Minecraft. Development started somewhere in 2009, and it has been patched and updated to this day. Marcus Notchperson, founder of the company Mojang, played around in a game called Infiniminer. This game had a mining concept, get some ores and bring it back home. There was also a building concept, but it wasn't that strong. Mox then had the idea. A game about mining with a highly advanced building concept, along with more to do than, than just those two activities. He set out to make his dream come true. The cave tech demo, the first version of what would become Minecraft, was created by Notch. It contained two types of blocks, grass and cobblestone. A random, medium-sized map would be generated for the player to run around. Random caves were made and lighting was being worked on. Although exploration and player movement was just fine, blocks could not be broken or placed. Smaller versions of this were made until Minecraft Classic was released on May 17, 2009. This was a notch reveal of Minecraft for the first time to the public. Terrain generation was better, greater lighting was present, and blocks could finally be moved. This featured permanent daytime, no crafting, no monsters, no health, hunger, or any survival elements. Blo blo blocks could be in instantaneously broken and unlimited resources were given to the player for building. After Classic received tweaking, Survival Test was released on September 1st, 2009. Although permanent daytime crafting, inventory, and lighting wasn't fixed, it added monsters, player health, and resources had to be earned by the player from the surrounding environment. From the fact you couldn't craft tools, all blocks could be broken by the fist, excluding the indestructible bedrock, which kept the player from falling out of the world. Survival Test was upgraded into InDev on December 23, 2009, or in development. This new phase, although keeping the same generation code, introduced many new features that have made Minecraft what it is today. Crafting and tools were introduced, and actual inventory was added, and, and maps had more options like theme, type, size, and shape. Although maps were the same sizes from survival tests, a lot could be taken out of the world. InDev was upgraded into InfDev on February, February 27, 2010, meaning infinite development. This kept almost all the features from InDev, but introduced infinite worlds. Now you could walk as far as you wanted and not reach a boundary. A better generation system was added, which is now the base of the one today. Although some features were removed, like map options, this is a revolutionary Minecraft update. InDev could still be accessed from the website, however, although it ceased to update. InfDev became Minecraft Alpha on June 2010. This update had many different versions to it, like Alpha 1.0, uh, 1.1, 02, and so on. This added more blocks like doors, boats, and more. More animals were in introduced, terrain generation was further improved, and more. One of the Alpha updates, 1.2, or the Halloween update. It added a whole new dimension to Nether. This basically resembled hell with burning netherrack and an ocean of lava. This added two new monsters, the neutral zombie pigmen and the evil f flying fireball launching guests. During Alpha's lifespan, the links to InfDev and InDev were removed. Minecraft Beta was released on December 20th, 2010. This was a slow going phase, but it added wolves, pistons, maps, and more. Beta 1.8 was the biggest release for this phase, titled the Adventure Update. He added the ability to sprint, stack food, added a hunger bar, and added a new mob, the Enderman. The final version, Minecraft 1.0, was released on November 18th, 2011. This fixed a ton of bugs that have been in the game for a long time and added a whole new dimension, the End. This is the home of a ton of Endermen and added the game's only boss, the Ender Dragon. Killing this will grant the player tons of experience points and open a portal back to the overworld. Entering the portal will bring up the game credits. After that, you will respawn at the regular spawn point. You've beaten Minecraft, the game that never planned to have an ending. Minecraft has gone a long way since its official beginning to its official release. To read more about Minecraft, visit www.minecraft.net or www.minecraftwiki.net. I hope you enjoyed the documentary.